So um, from the home perspective, uh, we, you know, we started to kind of see that Ian was doing some similar things across the board. So he was, um, they were reading Chains in Language Arts, um, which is about revolution. And then they were singing about revolution in chorus and um, singing songs of revolution. And that they were, um, they were talking about different revolutions in social studies. Um, the funny part about it was that we started to get a clue in the beginning of the year that he was studying revolutions because he started to talk at home about um, basically um, kind of revolting against his parents. And, but there were some funny things like, um, you know, now I can't remember exactly the concepts, but he was kind of trying to work out the concepts with us um, in terms of like his own power and control at home. And we were like, huh, he's really thinking at a different level here about this. And so I was like, so Ian, what are you studying? It sounds like you're studying. So he didn't come right out and tell us right away. So once we started to talk about it, we realized, oh, he's studying revolution in all his classes right now. That he was able to connect the dots a lot more than if he was just doing it in one subject. So he was able to talk about the concepts of revolution, um, the vocabulary of revolution, um, at, a, at a really different level than if he had just been studying it in social studies or just been studying it in English. Um, and because they did it for a, a period of time that wasn't just like a week long, um, even a month long unit, um, he, um, it was sinking much deeper for him. And that is really important to me because I am a believer that, uh, that one-offs are not a great way to teach children that it isn't about the quantity of information that we give kids, but about the quality of their learning. Mom, I want to, um, I want to protest. He's a sixth grader. I want to protest um, this election, because I don't, I'm, I, I feel bad about it. I'm opposed to it. And so uh, I was driving the car and I was like, oh, well, actually there is a way that you can do that. There's going to be a march in Montpelier, and if you want, we can go together. And but because of what he'd been studying at school and because of what and then he was reading at home and then it was happening on TV and so it was just so all encompassing and and he could think about what it meant for him on all sorts of levels like what does this mean as a person in my family with power and control what does this mean on a globe like on a nation scale with you know what's happening with the presidential election